My name is David Six, and I am a composer and pianist from Austria. Recently, I was supposed to play a concert in London, which got cancelled due to COVID-19. However, the organizers of the concert, the Austrian Cultural Forum in London, asked me if I'd be interested in an online performance instead and suggested to virtually work together with someone based in London. Hi! I didn't have to think for a long time about who that person could be and decided to ask my friend and musician Said Silbak for this collaboration. Yeah, 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 working on it, working on it. I'm Said Silbak, um, a Palestinian composer and oud player. Palestinian meaning from Palestine, you won't find that on the map, unfortunately. Maybe we'll uh, elaborate on that a bit later with David and then why you can't find it on the map. But it's there, I assure you it's there. Physically, it's there. We were asked not only to compose and online perform together, but also to document our creative process on video. Take 4017.3. I was very, very excited about the idea. We chatted about different options, different possibilities, different topics, different pieces, and uh, got to an agreement that we are going to collaborate and record a piece composed by David, a piece called Moria. It is a piece of music that is named after the European refugee camp on the Greek island Lesbos. I am not the one who is trained in holding speeches. But what I can do is to transform my perception of this situation into music and try to address this topic on an emotional level. Hey, good to see you again. <laughs> good to see you again too. Before like diving into the music and starting to record, I like to know the, you know, the the background and the reason why Moria. Why Moria? Um, good question. Thanks for asking. Um, you know Moria, the, the the big refugee camp that was built in in on the eastern border of Greece, on an island called Lesbos. Um, it is a refugee camp that was built for 3,000 people, but there are actually now at the moment 20,000 people living there and wow. under really severe conditions. So this is actually hell and this is a part of Europe, this is a part of our system. And um, so Moria is existing in every moment that we breathe and I think we just cannot ignore that. The people there are stuck because the European Union is failing in upholding one of its core values, the protection of the human rights. This whole piece, I think, is supposed to be played as if you are almost run out of energy. Okay. You went the whole way to, to, to Turkey and then crossed the sea and then end up in Moria and there they force you to stop. And of course you lose all your, all your how do you say, um, all, your your drive. Will, all your drive. Of course you still have will and this is why you that's why you want to keep moving, but you can't. And then there's a the
Then we go to this unison thing that I will play for you now, just briefly. Yeah. Uh, I'm just thinking technical because we're, we're going to record this uh, mm -hmm. from a long distance. Yeah. Uh, do you think like you want the oud melody first, or do you want to record the piano first and me recording the oud on top? Hmm. I don't know. Whatever you think is better. What do you think? I think piano first and oud on top. Okay. Let's do it. I do hope Great. this piece can be something like a reminder, maybe a little hint that there is something urgent to solve, something we need to be collectively engaged in. Good morning, Said. So this is Moria. Let's do it.
Thank you.